Chapter 9 of The Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales This is a Discerning Hearts recording read by Corey Webb. Chapter 9 First Meditation of Creation Preparation 1. Place yourself in the presence of God. 2. Ask Him to inspire your heart. Considerations 1. Consider that but a few years ago you were not born into the world, and your soul was yet non-existent. Where were you then, O my soul? The world was already old, and yet of you there was no sign. 2. God brought you out of this nothingness in order to make you what you are, not because He had any need of you, but solely out of His goodness. 3. Consider the being which God has given you, for it is the highest being of this visible world, adapted to live eternally and to be perfectly united to God's divine majesty. Affections and Resolutions 1. Humble yourself utterly before God, saying with the psalmist, O Lord, I am nothing in respect to you. What am I that you should remember me? O my soul, you were yet lost in that abyss of nothingness. If God had not called you forth, what would have happened to you? 2. Give God thanks. O great and good Creator, what do I not owe you? Who did take me from out that nothingness? By your mercy to make me what I am, how can I ever do enough worthily to praise your holy name and render due thanks to your goodness? 3. Confess your own shame. But alas, O my Creator, so far from uniting myself to you by a loving service, I have rebelled against you through my unruly affections, departing from you and giving myself up to sin, and ignoring your goodness as though you had not created me. 4. Prostrate yourself before God. O my soul, know that the Lord, He is your God. It is He that made you, and not you yourself. O God, I am the work of your hands. 5. From now on, I will not seek to rest in myself. I am nothing. Why would I glory in myself? I am but dust and ashes. How can you, a very nothing, exalt yourself? In order to become humble, I will do such and such a thing. I will endure such contempt. I will alter my ways and from now on follow my Creator and realize that I am honored by His calling me to the being He has given. I will employ it solely to obey His will by means of the teaching He has given me of which I will inquire more through my spiritual father. One, thank God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and praise His holy name with all your being, because His goodness called me from nothingness, and His mercy created me. Two, offer. O my God, I offer you with all my heart the being you hast given me. I dedicate and consecrate it to you. 3. Pray. O God, strengthen me in these affections and resolutions. Dear Lord, I commend me and all those I love to your never-failing mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. At the end of your meditation, linger a while and gather, so to say, a little spiritual bouquet from the thoughts you have dwelled upon, the sweet perfume that may refresh you through the day.